Hey guys, Richard Blaine here. Thanks for stopping by my easy cooking channel tonight. Tonight I'm not sharpening a kukri. Tonight I'm not sharpening any knives. Tonight I'm going to cook some food. Tonight I decided to cook a variation of Italian food. Although I've been getting a lot of requests for my Asian dishes, again, Malaysian, Cambodian. I decided to make some Italian food tonight, okay? All of you I know have gone into Italian restaurants and sit down and you say, you know what? I think I'd like some veal marsala, I think I'd like some chicken piccata, I think I'd like some veal piccata, okay? And I thought, well, you know, piccata and marsala, I love piccata, and I love marsala, and it's always done with chicken, you know, or veal, you know, even lamb to do piccata or masala. But um, tonight I thought I would do a little bit of variation of the piccata recipe. Tonight I thought I would do something called coche de rana picara. Coche de rana picara. You know what that is? That's frog leg picara, okay? Frog leg picara. Frog legs and picara sauce. Because frog legs are delicious. But quiet bird, you don't usually see frog leg picara in your local Italian restaurant. And while I have my bird going bananas in the background because he knows I'm going to cook something delicious, I'm going to cook something delicious for you, and that is coche de rana picada, frog legs and picada, on top of whatever pasta you want. So as usual with YouTube, let's get going, and I'll see you on the other side. All right, guys. So the first order of business is I'm adding some minced garlic to about four tablespoons of ghee. Okay, you can use unsalted butter or you could use ghee. I'm using ghee. And I'm going to turn it down to medium high because I just want it to get fragrant. And in the background, what you can't see, okay, is I'm flowering up the frog legs, okay? So I'm rolling up the frog legs in some flour. And there, it doesn't take long for the garlic to get going. And there it is, okay? One frog leg, okay? I've salted and peppered these frog legs, okay, and I'm just rolling them up in the flour, okay, covering them up, you know, nothing too serious, just a nice little coat on medium low, okay, medium low to medium high, depends on the oven you're using, okay, and all I want to do is I want to brown them up on each side. It, depending on the size of the frog legs and depending on your stove, uh, between two and three minutes per side to get them nice and golden. I can tell right now on mine it's going to have to be on medium high instead of a medium low to get that crackle going. You can hear it in the background. Okay, there we go. And then we'll just get them frog legs in there. Okay, we want to get these puppies golden brown. And then we're going to deglaze the pan. There we go. I'm using about a pound and a half, maybe two pounds, because I couldn't get bullfrog legs, really big ones. I had to settle for some smaller ones. There we go. And the garlic browned up a little bit, and that's okay. Okay. That's all right, because it's nice and fragrant. There we go. There we go. There we go. And most of that brown that you see is the flour getting cooked anyway. Okay, the frog legs have cooked. And I have some residual meat from the frog legs. And I'm going to add the rest of the butter, or actually ghee, for this recipe. There we go. Okay. I'm going to add that into this pan. There we go. About another three tablespoons of ghee, butter. Okay. I'm going to melt this down, and then we're going to move on to the next step. So hang on tight. Okay. So, the rest of the ghee is melted, and into that I'm going to add some red onion. You could use shallot if you want, okay? I didn't have any shallot, so I'm going to use red onion. 
And red onion for piccata is just fine. Okay, I'm going to turn up the heat to a, a medium high and I am going to saute this garlic and this red onion with the fond of the frog legs and butter. You see all that brown goodness at the bottom of the pan? Okay, so I'm going to saute these red onions and this garlic okay, with this nice fond. This is flavor, and I'm going to do my best to scrape it off. There we go. There we go. I'm going to do my best to scrape it off before I decide to deglaze. So I'm going to need about five minutes, and then we'll be right back, and I'm going to deglaze this pan. Okay, so I started the deglazing process of this pan with some chicken stock and got most of that brown fawn off of the bottom. Now, this recipe usually calls for white wine, but I'm not going to use white wine. I am going to deglaze this pan with some brandy. You no, know we're not going to flambe. Okay. That's not the purpose of this picada. Okay. I'm going to finish the deglaze process with this brandy and the chicken stock and it gets all that brown fond and all those bits up off the bottom and up off the sides of the pan to make the kind of sauce I want for this frog leg piccata. There we go. Oh yeah. Now, I'm going to reduce this brandy stock mixture by about half and then I'm going to add some more stock and then I'm going to move forward with the piccata sauce. Okay. All right. So the brandy and the chicken stock has reduced by half. Okay. Now I'm going to add my mushrooms, okay. some criminy mushrooms. Okay. And I'm going to stir those in. Okay. And I'm going to add some capers. Oops. With a little bit of the brine. Now, I know a lot of people rinse the capers off, but I want just a touch of the brine from the capers to flavor this dish. So, I include a little bit of the brine. I'm going to let this heat up. Okay. And I'm going to add some lemon juice. About two tablespoons fresh lemon. You could add three. You could add four. But that's the difference between a picada and a marsala is the lemon and also whether you want to add cream. Now, if I was to add cream to this dish, it would be more of a masala. If I added more lemon juice, more than two tablespoons, it would be a masala. But I'm going to keep it a picada. There's enough liquid in here. I'm going to break these mushrooms down, get them to soften up and wilt, okay? Add a little bit of salt, okay? Help break them down. There we go. Okay. A little bit of black pepper. Okay. Now I'm going to get these mushrooms to break down, and we'll move on to the next step. Okay, so my picada has been cooking for a while. Um, in order to build the sauce stage by stage, I add some chicken stock to keep it fluid. And I know it's browner than most picada sauces that you're aware of, but that becomes brown from the fawn created by the frog legs. Okay, now I'm going to add some crushed oregano. That's instant flavor right there. Oh my God, it smells so good. Some pepperoncino for a little bit of warmth. Okay. Because actually the nights here in Vegas have been getting a little bit cold. All right, so, oh God, it smells so good. The oregano and the pepperoncino, just a wonderful addition, okay. Now, 
the mushrooms they're reduced. Okay. okay. Now I'm gonna add some great tomatoes and some artichokes, artichoke hearts that are quartered. Okay. I'm gonna heat this through. And then I'm going to add some spinach. You could use spinach or basil, but in this case, I'm going to be using spinach. Okay, so I'm going to bring this up to a boil and then reduce to a simmer for about five minutes. Add the spinach. Then the frog legs are going back, and I'm going to cook some pasta. Okay, guys. So here we go. The grape tomatoes have released their water. The water's reduced. The water from the mushrooms is reduced. The piccata's coming together. And the last thing, spinach. Now, you can use spinach leaves or you could use basil leaves. In this particular instance, I'm going to use spinach. Uh, I was on a budget. I hate to say that. I was on a budget. Okay, so I'm going to reduce this here spinach. Okay, into the piccata. Okay, and then I'm going to cover the piccata and let all the flavors blend and marry. And I'm going to make some pasta. But at this point, there we go. See it? There it is. The spinach is wilted, okay, the spinach is wilted, that's all I need, okay, and then I'm going to put the frog legs back in, okay, there we go, there we go. I'm going to let them warm through, and I'm going to cook some spaghetti. Okay guys, so the sauce is basically done, and I'm keeping it warm on another burner, and right now I'm making the pasta. So when the pasta is done, I'm going to drain it, and strain it, and plate it, and then I'm going to put the piccata sauce on top. Now you have a couple of choices. You could serve this piccata plate by plate as your guests arrive or as they show up. You can, you know, put it on plate by plate. Or you could serve this pasta on a very large charger and put the sauce on top and serve it family style. Well, considering that it's just me and Riley tonight, when this pasta is done, I'm going to plate up some pasta and put some of this piccata on top and then it's going to be a king's dinner. So hang on tight, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so there it is, okay? Pasta with frog legs piccata, okay? This looks so delicious. I am so hungry, and it's time to eat dinner. But here it is, okay? Lovely pasta, regular pasta with frog legs, tomatoes, garlic, okay, spinach. This is just delicious, okay? So, you know, in the future, you can make chicken piccata or veal piccata, or you could try this frog leg piccata. So, I'm glad you stopped by. So, oh, here it is, guys. Spread. Okay, frog leg piccata. Okay, in the future, you can make piccata any way you want. You can make chicken piccata, veal piccata, chicken marsala, veal marsala, or you can make cosque di rana piccata. Frog leg piccata right here, okay? Nice, different dish, okay? Pasta, tomatoes, spinach, garlic, oregano, cosque de rana piccata. I'm glad you stopped by. I hope you make this dish. I hope you enjoy it, and I'll see you on the next video. Take care. Hey, guys. Richard Blaine here. Thanks for stopping by my music cooking channel tonight. I hope you make this dish. I know you like Italian food as much as I do. Okay, like I said, you know, you can make any kind of marsala or piccata that you want, but frog legs, frog legs makes it a little bit different.
different from the usual is what you see in restaurants. So I want to thank you for stopping by. Okay, I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Take care.